So that was an awesome way to start the morning. Morning guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today we've got a pretty big day plan heading out to Mount Tambourine, which we're super excited for. I say we because I'm not going there alone. I'm heading out with my gorgeous other half, Sammy. Uh, we've been here on the Gold Coast now for about a month and this is the first day off we've really had together. We've got heaps planned. We've got a pretty big list of things we want to do. So this is Sammy. She hasn't featured in the vlogs for a little while, but um, I think we're good to hit the road. You driving? So our first stop this morning is Cedar Creek Falls. We kind of came up the mountain somewhat and then down the other side. And the reason we've decided to come here first is because this is the only place that you can swim here on Tambourine. I'm pretty sure it's the only place. And we're hoping to get here early enough to beat the crowd somewhat. We've had a lot of rain, so the water's flowing. It looks really, really cool. Maybe we'll see some turtles all the way down there. So that was an awesome way to start the morning. It was super refreshing, super fun. Turtles deflated now, but this place would be absolutely packed on a hot day. And also I think coming down early definitely played in our favor. But if you want to get one of those pools to yourself, because there's a couple as it goes down the waterfall, brave those uh, steeper rocks, get down a little bit lower away from the main pool. Because we basically had that to ourselves the whole time, which was awesome. So the whole region up here is Tambourine Mountain. And then the main suburb, which is where we are now, is Mount Tambourine. The main thing people come for in the main suburb is the Gallery Walk. It's basically this long single road that just goes all the way down. It's got all these cool little antique shops and tea and coffee places, places where you can go get like relishes and jams and all this delicious stuff. You basically taste your whole way down the street. There's wineries, although it might be a little bit too early for that. But it's definitely a place you can spend a fair bit of time checking out some really interesting stuff. Also, we skipped breakfast this morning so we could get to the waterfall nice and early. Sammy's getting a bit hangry, so we're heading down for some brunch just down the road. Smash that. So we just finished brunch at the Tambourine Mountain Coffee Plantation and now we're actually gonna go out on a bit of a behind the scenes tour through the plantation and learn about the entire process of making the most popular drink on the planet, coffee. finished the tour that was absolutely awesome there's so much history and so much going on from getting the coffee from these trees here all the way into your cup the guys here are super passionate about it got to do a few tastings as well and I'm just kind of enjoying hanging out here in the plantation there's no berries or cherries actually they're called the red fruits they have the coffee beans inside them on the trees at the moment but still pretty cool if you head up this way definitely check out Mount Tambourine coffee plantation the food was good coffee was good. I think we're going to go home with a bag or two as well. So we are both sufficiently caffeinated now and the car smells amazing because we bought half a kilo of freshly ground coffee. Somehow in this process I got demoted to driver which uh, that's not going to be fun if we stop at a few wineries or anything like that and now we are actually at the Tambourine Rainforest Skywalk so pretty keen to check that out and then I think we've got two more destinations to check out after this before sunset so let's go. This is super cool, like we're literally up in the canopy 
on this walkway running all the way through the rainforest. So this is like subtropical rainforest and everything at the moment is super green. There's been heaps of rain lately. And yeah, it's a pretty interesting perspective being this high up. So the total length of the track is about one and a half Ks and it's only $18 to come in, which I think is pretty good. You can't put a price on nature, but $18, I think that's pretty cool. There's heaps of signage, like educational signage around as well. So I kind of looked at the map wrong and I thought it was elevated the whole way through, but there's actually only certain parts that are elevated up in the canopy and the rest is just a track that goes through the rainforest. Unfortunately, we didn't see any dinosaurs on our walk. So we just hit another track. This is our second last spot for the day. We're heading down to Curtis Falls, which is probably the most famous waterfall in this area. There are a fair few scattered around Tambourine. This one's probably the most famous, probably because it's the most beautiful one. You can't swim in this one like you can with Cedar Creek Falls we visited earlier, but I still think it's gonna be pretty epic. It's way darker on this track too. Some of these trees are legit. I don't know if you saw that, but they're pretty massive. Tarzan eat your heart out. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good idea or not. That was a lot more difficult than I expected. So that was really cool. We just came across some baby brush turkey chicks. And the cool thing about those guys is there is zero parental care. Mum will lay the eggs into a mound, which is all, you know, climate controlled basically. They don't have to worry about incubating them themselves. And when they hatch out, they have zero parental care. They just go out, start foraging themselves, and know exactly what to do. So there was a couple there, which was really cool to see. Cute little fluffy guys, it's awesome. <laughs> and just now, as I was explaining to Sammy about that whole process, we found a couple of adult birds preparing a mound probably to lay their own eggs in. Brush turkeys cop a bit of a bad rap for like mucking up people's gardens. They're constantly digging. You could see that in the little birds and the big birds, but I think they're awesome. Those colors are just unreal. And that one there, just getting those close-ups, they remind me so much of dinosaurs. Just, I don't know, in their face and how they move around. Such iconic Australian birds. Mmm, that coffee smell gets me every time we get back in the car. It's so good. So that sunset was pretty epic, but I did not expect it to get so cold out there. This morning, Sammy was like, I'm gonna bring a jacket, it might get cold. I was like, 
It's the middle of summer, no way. I definitely regret that decision. We had a pretty epic day up here on the mountain and I hope you guys enjoyed tagging along. And hopefully we gave you a bit of inspiration if you do wanna check out this beautiful part of the scenic rim. It's only about half an hour out from the Gold Coast and there is so much to do. We basically just scratched the surface. We'll definitely be up here another time to tick off a few more things. Thanks for joining me for the first vlog of the year. We had a lot of fun. Can't wait to get out there and show you more of beautiful Queensland. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Thanks for letting me ramble on, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.